Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will compare the two battery management system of S3 40 amperes and the S4 40 amperes. And what is a battery management system itself? It's very important to know it's and to understand any kind of application which is containing batteries could be a lithium ion battery or just like this one or could be a lipo lithium polymer battery or actually any kind of battery requires a battery management system and electrical vehicles and in the renewable energy industry and uh, in the battery storages it's very common use this two battery management systems, these two BMSs, are actually just for hobbies and for hobby cars, hobby toys, hobby. So what is the main difference between them? This is S3 40 amperes, this is S4 40 amperes. What is that meaning? So it is capable as the maximum current to output 40 amps. And what is the S3 meaning? The S3 is meaning that you can use three batteries in series to drive this, this BMS, the S3. And for the S4, you can use four batteries in series to have the BMS or, or the BMS what can drive. The main thing is in the end you would end up with voltages. So the output voltage for the S3 it is 12.6 volts at the maximum charged voltage and for the S4 version, the maximum voltage what it, it is capable to output is 16.8 volts. But as the nominal voltage, what those cells are capable is 3.7 volts. And then maximum at fully charged it's 4.2 volts. So if we multiply the three cell version, if we multiply the three cell version with 3.7 it is 11.1 volts which is just enough for a 12 volt application if you fully charge it is 12.6 so if your application is a 12 volt application 12 volt battery application then you should use this one if your application requires higher voltages then you should use this one because this is capable to output 16.8 volts at fully charged voltage. And as I have already mentioned, the 40A, it is referring to the 40 amps, which is the maximum continuous current with the battery, which the battery pack can provide you in the safety conditions. So, if you are multiplying, considering the voltage multiplied with the amps, then the power output in the overall, this could be a bit lower, around 400, 440, and this could be around 600, 600 ish, 500, 550, 600 maximum, because of the voltage multiplication with the 40 amps, theoretically. This is a hobby. BMS, which is useful for hobby purposes. So, yeah, if you think this video will helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to my channel because in next video we will solder one of those two BMS and we will measure out the batteries, how it is behaving in an operational condition. Thank you for watching, wish you a great day.